It's too dark to see. You can't even see me. I shouldn't be going fishing right now. It's too early. Good morning. We going carp fishing today. Lake Miranda, which is where we're going right now, they're known for their numbers of carp, as you saw in the other video. It's gonna be a carp tutorial 101. Why is this guy fishing for carp? Who fishes for carp? Go out there for largemouth bass like a real man. Go get yourself a $30,000 boat to catch yourself a largemouth. Come on, man. <laughs> If you catch five pound fish, that's a good bass, man. We had a good day. I cast it 600 times to catch me one five pound fish. Hey, man, mad respect to all you bass fishermen, but that ain't my that ain't my jam, okay? So all you guys out there that are looking at me like, oh, this bro's carp fisherman. He's in Southern California. He should be going out for tuna. I ain't got money to go out for tuna right now. They catch a hundred pound bluefin, and I can't afford it. But that will be this year. I will show you guys Southern California sport fishing at its prime. That's what I know. That's the kind of fishing I do. All these videos you guys say, I know what I'm doing. I'm kind of learning this stuff with you, man. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. My specialty is the salt water. And that's where I'm gonna go in like two months. But in the meantime, since all y'all think San Diego has perfect weather year round, look at this. I don't think this is perfect weather. It's a good thing I brought my jacket because it's gonna be chilly willies. It's gonna be chilly willies. Solo walla walla walla. Gonna be the chilly willies, solo walla walla walla. Gonna be the chilly willies. My grandma used to have this little cart turkey piece I'd take to school and people would be like, eh, he smell like fish. He's gonna be like, yeah, my way, leave me alone. Go again. We go fishing. Like for red. Ah, get out of my way. Go to Horseshoe Cove. That's, that's where you go. That's where you go to catch carp. Let's do it. Let me show you guys the bait setup that we're using here. So what we got here? We got quick oats, and I use old-fashioned oats mixed in as well. So you got the old-fashioned oats, which gives them more bite, and then the quick oats, which makes it clumped up. And then you get yourself a pack of cherry jello. Don't get that. Don't get that sugar-free kind, man. These fish don't care about their figure. And then you just take your jello, and you just that's all you do. Just pour that on in there. And all you do, just get some of your lake water. Fill that up, and you can make clumps. This is what's called a method rig, method feeder. So you can see it's just a weight, flat bottom weight, with this cage on top. And then at the end, so you've got what's known as a hair rig. Now what this does is the hook, the bait is not actually hooked to the hook. It's hooked on the bottom, and what that does is it makes it so that when carp bite it, they suck in this bait, but since the hook's up here, they also suck that in, but they, it hooks them right in the lip. You don't gut hook carp anywhere near as much with the hair rig. I actually have never gut hooked a carp so far with these things. Come in little packs. Uh, I think you can get like 30 on Amazon for 12 bucks. Just type in hair rigs. You'll see the ones that I'm talking about. Take your pack bait. But you just pack it up on just like that. Now when you throw these, make sure you lob it. You don't jerk cast it because then all that stuff will come off. That's it. I already got a bite. Be ready. Here we go. Ba -ba. doing this kind of fish and always be ready for fish these things take it and if you don't have little little amazon rod holders like that your rod's going in the water they hear the go down get to the walmart net setup get that fish get that fish i'm Oh. <laughs> look, 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 look. I got a fish. <laughs> well, these little bullheads, what you want to do is you want to come underneath them. So, little catfish. Ah, la, 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 la. <laughs> I don't know what type of catfish that is. I think that's a little, uh, I think we call them bullhead catfish, but yeah, little tiny guy. Ba -ba -ba. Go wow, there you go. He gone. Woo! Well, we caught a fish. I don't know if you can call that a fish, but it's a fish. So I'm gonna get some catfish bait on this one and I'm gonna try that again. It's a little tiny catfish. Got him. Did I? Nope, nope, nope. Did. Almost did. Oh, now that was a carp. That snapped my line. Broke me right off. 
Okay. Okay. You sure? Thank you. Get this back out there. Get this back out there. That was a carp. Snapped my line instantly. That was a big carp. That... That was a big carp. What I've noticed is when the carp are big, they don't really just... Bah, 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 bah. They just... Argh. They bite and they start to bite. Woo! I got these rod holders. I got these rod holders on Amazon. Make sure if you're fishing for carp out here, make sure you're either holding your rod or they're in rod holders. Don't just have them laying on the floor. <laughs> As you saw, when these things hit, they... So... Oh, I think was, I had the biggest spider crawl on my hand. He was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that gave me the heebie-jeebies, man. Oh, 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 oh. That spider was that big. Ah. So another thing you can get yourself, which is really good for catfishing and carp fishing, you go on that Amazon.com, right? And you buy yourself these bite alarms. This came with a pack of four for I think like 20 bucks. They're real cheap ones. You can buy way better ones and I would recommend buying the real better ones because these are real kind of bad. But they do the job. So if a fish bites it, it will spin this knob and then make a horrible sound. Well, it's supposed to. And make a horrible sound. So get yourself some of these. Ahoy! Ahoy! Yes! Ah, it's a catfish! Look at that! It's a little channel! Alright! So... I don't think these carp are biting, but these little catfish are biting. Same thing, guys. Don't worry, I'll throw you back. It hooks them right in the lip. That's that hair rig. Alright guys, get yourself a little, little baby channel catfish. That's not a big guy at all. They get much bigger here. Womp womp, womp womp, womp womp. All right, spiky ass, spiky ass. Watch those things. You can hear him. He's croaking. Anyway, we're gonna release him right here. All right, it's a little baby guy. Here we go. There you go. Oh, hey, hey, hey! Go the other way. Go that way. Go that way. Go that way. There. Get yourself some of them bite alarms. Kind of a pain to take off when you need to, though. So this is the first time I've caught nothing but catfish when I was fishing for carp. But apparently catfish like fake corn too. Who would have thought? If these carp don't stop jumping and don't start biting my bait, I'm gonna lose my mind. All right, no carp today guys. But hey, if you do wanna see me catch carp, hey, you can see what the carp look like right there. Click it, click it right now, click it. Love, peace, chicken grease, bye-bye.